Let's talk about hitboxes for your characters and how when you edit your character and get rid of the background, uh, you need to be sure that you also change the image size. So you can see I have two characters here. I have Sonic and Pikachu. I noticed I didn't do a great job of painting Pikachu, actually. But these two characters, what's going to happen is uh, Sonic's going to move towards Pikachu, and if they touch, the game is over. Very simple gameplay. So I'm going to preview it right now. And watch carefully because Sonic is not actually going to touch Pikachu. The game is going to end early. They don't actually come in contact with each other. So here's why. If we look at the hitboxes for Pikachu and Sonic, you can see that the hitbox is actually way larger than the actual graphic of Sonic. I had brought Sonic into Photoshop and I deleted the background around Sonic, but you can see the size of the image. So even though it's transparent around here, this is the actual dimensions of the image, both the same with Pikachu as well. So you can fix that either in Photoshop or in Pixlr online. And the key is the crop tool. It's kind of the same for both. So I'm going to go to Photoshop here. And over in the uh, tools bar, I'm going to choose crop. If you don't see it, if you, if you don't see that little symbol, it's the one, two, three, four, fifth one down. And it looks like two crossing right angles. And what you do here is when you have the crop tool selected, it might be hard to see, but there's these little handles that you can grab on the edge of each image and shrink them up. Okay, and then you're going to want to hit enter to select it. And notice how much tighter it is now. And then I'm going to want to save that. So I'm going to do save a copy. I'm going to do it on my computer. I'm going to make sure that it is a PNG. PNG holds uh, transparency. JPEGs do not. So click Save. And now that is much uh, quicker. I'm going to do the same thing here for Pikachu. Again, with the crop tool. And again, I'm doing this in Photoshop. OK, that's about the best I can do there. I'm going to hit Enter. File, save a copy, save it to my computer. I'm going to call this one cropped, and I'm going to make sure it is a PNG file. Very important. Now I'm going to go over to Pixlr, and I'm not going to do it again on Pixlr, but you have the same tool right here in Pixlr, the crop tool. And again, you would just shrink it up, hit enter, save it as a PNG to your computer. But I'm going to go back now. Uh, where am I going? I'm going to go back now to Game Salad. Close the preview. So I'm going to go in here now and I'm going to, on these actors, I'm going to delete the current images I have. And they'll just be white squares again. But now I'm going to go into Images. I'm actually going to delete the uh, images I brought in and bring in the correct ones now. So I'm going to hit the plus sign. I'm going to bring in Sonic Copy Cropped and Pikachu Copy Cropped and click Open. Then I'm going to go to Sonic and apply that image to Sonic. Then I'm going to go to Pikachu and apply that image to Pikachu. And then I'm going to preview my game. And now we should see that they will actually come in contact with each other for the most part uh, before the game ends. Now it's not perfect because this empty part of Pikachu here is a little rough, but it's much better than it was the first time. If I had them uh, with more straight edges up and down, it would work a lot better. But you can see that's a lot better than it was. Okay, so the key is crop the images as tight as you can, save it as a PNG file, uh, and then bring those in. All right, good luck.